you know, one of the basic problems that people run into when they're making characters is that most player characters have their characters live for six fights. It's not that they die after six fights. It's that the practical realities of getting four to six people together for two to six nights in a row over a period of two to 18 weeks means that that character might fight six times in their entire existence. Hi, my name is GR. This is Player Base, which is a channel about ludology, the dynamics of play. That's what that word means. And uh, today we're going to talk about creating a character and something you may have missed about it. And that is, characters are very short-lived. And I don't mean that they're going to die, because as most people are playing D&D, and D&D has gotten stronger and stronger at base level over the editions, it's not that the character is squishy so much as one of the dynamics of play, one of the practical realities of playing a role-playing game, is that most adventures, most campaigns last 2 to 12 weeks tops. And 12 weeks, that's 12 times you got half a dozen people together at the same time on the same day uh, every week for no money. That's a lot, let me tell you. If you haven't done it before, it's an achievement. So when you're putting a character together, the best thing to do, especially if you're starting out, is to imagine, like we did with creating a character, what do I want this character to do? And usually when you're thinking about it, you're thinking about one thing. You're thinking about them, you know, swimming, swimming over a ravine, swimming through a river with a knife in their mouth, uh, sword fighting with a demon, whatever it is. And then when you have that image, you kind of base your choices around three or four aspects of that. You know, what kind of weapon does it have? You know, if your character is going to do sword fighting, then making a character do sword fighting but also fireballing on the side with a uh, minor in, you know, finding books that they can turn into uh, rare gems or whatever it is, you're going to have a hard time in the game playing the game because you won't be getting many opportunities to do all of those things. Just, that's just the practical reality. Now, what is possible is playing three different characters, one that's sword fighting, one that fireballs, and one that collects rare books to turn into gems through some magical alchemy process. And those are three different games, maybe with three completely separate groups of people. But generally, in, in most games where people aren't being paid, and, you know, people who play on the internet with thousands of people watching them, they make their living doing that. People who aren't making their living doing that they don't show up every Thursday at 8 o'clock because they have other priorities, whether they want to or not. So, to hedge your bets, the best thing to do is really just focus on one or two things. And two things is pushing it. I want them to do this. And if you do that six times, you're not going to get tired of it. If you did it a hundred times, you might, but generally speaking, you're not going to get a hundred chances to do it with that one character. You're going to get six. So, there you go. Let me know if that makes sense to you in the comments. And for now, and probably for later too, MGR, and this has been Player Base. Thanks a lot.